Hello, everybody. I apologize that I'm an hour late, but I did have an important webinar for a future leaders program with Pure Romance. So uh, it is my business, so it is top priority. So I um, just wanted to come on still, even though I'm late, better late than never. And maybe, who knows, I'll catch a couple of you live because you're off of work now. So I'm just going to do a quick um, like roundabout to remind you where we're at in our series. And we are doing the seven habits of highly effective sex lives. We've already discussed parts uh, one through four. Uh, be proactive. Uh, begin with the end in mind. Put first things first. And think win-win. And so tonight, we're going to be talking about part five, which is seek first to understand and then to be understood. And we all want to be understood, right? That's... Uh, something in life that I think just as human nature, we all want to be understood. So I wanted to kind of start with a few questions. Hi, everybody who's joining. Thank you. Um, do you really understand your partner? Like really understand your partner? And does your partner really understand you? And if you can answer yes to both of those, then awesome. I'm really happy for you. And I think your relationship is in a great place. But really for the average person, we don't 100% understand our partner, especially if your partner is a man, because trust me, ladies, listen, we don't really understand men all that much. And we're going to, we're going to learn tonight. We're going to learn some ways to understand how they function and why they think and do the things they do. Okay, so what does this really have to do with your sex life, right? Understanding your partner. So uh, we do want to be understood because it helps us know that we're loved. And... Going into your sex life, seeking to understand, then to be understood, is all about what your partner's wants and needs are. You gotta understand what your partner's wants and needs are. How are you gonna understand that? You're gonna talk to them. What is this whole series about, right? It's communication. Yeah, I said this was gonna be juicy. We are gonna get to some juicy stuff, I promise. But before you get to the juicy stuff, you have to really know what your partner wants before it gets juicy, okay? So, we gotta do three things. Um, when you understand your partner's wants and needs, it does three things for you and your relationship, everything, sex life, all of that stuff. Number one, it shows them that you care which is totally sexy in my opinion, right? I don't know about you, it's totally sexy to me. When my husband just like totally gets me and understands what my sexual needs are. Hopefully the same goes for him too. I'll find that out because I'm gonna have to seek to understand. Um, number two, it's gonna increase your bond with your partner, which again is totally sexy because who doesn't want that closeness with their partner. I mean, that's all, that's why you're partnered up with that person. That's why you've married them. That's why you've, you know, had that long-term relationship for a year or more or whatever, wherever you're at in your um, current status. Okay. Uh, number three, it improves the quality of your sex life or your intimacy. So when you get to know your partner on that level and you're actually able to know what their wants and needs are and you're providing that for them, that's huge. That's like, I don't even know what the percentage would be of, of like American couples, but you're, you would be in the top percentile on, you know, what you're actually able to do in your sex life with your partner, um, way above and beyond the average person, I can guarantee you. So I'm going to just kind of break it down here for the women. I know I have a couple of men online here and, um, maybe you could jump on and make some comments, men, and, and, you know, try to clue us in on what's really behind the iron curtain there, but I, I'm going to break it down here. I'm going to get some juicy stuff. Women, we know that men always have sex on the brain, but do we really know how often that is? I've done some research, and the research shows that men think about sex on average, this is average, 18.9 times a day. Now, we might have thought that number was higher, but again, that's an average. But it is very high when you think of how often women think about sex. We only think about sex about nine times a day. Now, men kind of act on that because we know men masturbate all the time. How often do women masturbate? I don't know, maybe you're masturbating a lot as a woman. And if you are, that's good. Because we all know orgasms improve our skin, right? Make us look younger. Okay, so... Uh, I digressed a little bit there. Sorry, I got a little excited about having smooth skin. All right, so men also on average 
get like 11 erections a day. That's a lot. I don't know about you, but I thought that number was really high. I was really amazed. Uh, so continuing to break it down here, we know that men are creatures of desire, right? But men have a legitimate physical need for sex. Did you know that? Like we knew they wanted it all the time, but ladies, did you really know that like their need for sex is legitimate? Like it's not fake. They need to have sex. Their body tells them they need it. It's like, it's thirsty, it's hungry, it's tired. You gotta feed the urge, okay? All right, so it's like women having breast milk that needs to be expressed. If you wanna think of it this way, women, okay? When men need sex, it's because their testosterone level is so high. They're producing massive amounts of sperm and their sperm is collecting and it's like, I gotta get out of here. And then the man's going, I gotta do something about it. And then he's like ready, ready for it. And, and you might not be ready for it. And you're like, oh my God, why is he all over me? It's because he needs it. It's a physical urge. It's biological. Did you know that? I learned something new today when I was doing my research. So I think that's pretty cool. It's very primal. It's kind of sexy if you think about it. You're like, I have the power to really help my partner release himself and I get all the credit for it. And maybe a purse out of it. I don't know. Okay. So women we now know something about men that makes our like wifely duty a little less wifely and a little more exciting because we're like helping them with that primer, primal urge. So as women, our sexual desire is more connected to our emotions. So when we're talking about seek first to understand and then to be understood, we're tr now trying to, we are understanding a little bit more about men's primal urge that they need to have sex. It's their biological desire. Their bodies are telling them they need to have it. We need to help our partner understand a little bit more about us, correct? So we need to help our partner discover that we're more emotional. So yes, we need to help them with their physical urge, but they need to help us with our emotional side of it. So they need to woe us a little bit. They need to um, give us a little foreplay. They need to whisper those little sweet nothings into our ears. Um, kind of, you know, be the suitor again. Date us. This is this whole series has been kind of based on communication and, um, you know, doing things differently so that we can boost our relationship, which helps to boost our libido, which helps to boost our sex life. And, we're creating an effective sex life, okay? So um, I know I'm going a little bit over my time here, but I was really excited about this topic, if you can't, if you can't tell, okay? Like, woo, my, my, I'm glowing, look at all this, woo, I'm glowing, okay. So do you see the connection though between understanding and being understood? It's, it really goes hand in hand because if you're not really understanding why your partner has the type of urges that they have versus um, what you need also in return, it's then it's not going to click for you. And I don't think that um, your sex life is going to be the best that it could be. So we really, if you're having a sex life, you want it to be the best it could be. Who wouldn't? So I, I just really got excited about this particular subject because um, I love when I found that research about men really having that primal urge like that biological urge that was such news to me like I just kind of thought it was a little bit of bullshit like yeah he needs to have sex every day whatever and now I'm thinking now all I'm gonna be thinking about is his sperm is collecting and it's gonna bulge out and then I'm thinking when I was pregnant and I was lactating how when my breast milk filled up I know what that feels like and it doesn't feel good so I, I think maybe as women we could say blue boob versus blue balls for men. I don't know. I think I'm going to coin that phrase. We'll see. But I do want to uh, thank everybody for logging on and waiting the hour. I was really late on coming on and I really appreciate you. I hope that this talk was worth waiting an hour. I hope I made you laugh a little bit. I hope I educated you on some primal issues and or, or urges that the men have. And uh, please comment with how you thought um, this video went. And uh, join me next week when we talk about part, uh-oh, let's see, part six 
and it's going to be all about synergize. Ooh, I'm excited for that one. I can't wait. Max is getting my picture here. Okay, so everybody, thank you so much for joining. Again, share me, comment, like, tell your friends to watch me. My goal is to educate everybody and have this fun girl talk. I'll see you later and have a great weekend. That's my, my biggest fan, my husband.